Now, um, let's see quickly the because the relationship between average product and marginal product is really really important. Average product is just total product divided by the number of people we are hiring. Okay, so that's the average product, the mean product that we can produce in an hour on average, roughly. Okay, so now let's see how average product behaves because it has a good relationship with uh, uh, marginal products. Because at, as we go on hiring more people, as we hire more and more people, they are both rising. Okay, as we hire more and more people, they are both rising. They are reaching a point where the extra returns we get, they, they reach their maximum. This point here. Okay, and at the point where average product equals marginal product, that is the highest point for the average products we can get. Beyond that, average product starts falling. Okay, the mean product that we can produce per worker will start falling the moment they are equal with marginal product. So let's see how this goes in a diagram. So we say um, average product is total product. AP is equal to TP, total product, divided by um, number of workers. That's the quantity of the input, okay? Number of workers. So what we do now, when we have um, two workers, so total product of two, two divided by the number of workers, one is just two, okay? And so let's be plotting this, in fact. So now, average product is two here yeah. average product is two when we had one worker okay and then when we had the second worker total product is six six divided by two gives us what three okay three is the average we can produce roughly per person okay so that is three here yeah. so the second person we can now produce roughly three Okay, per person. Um, now, hiring the third person, what we have is a total product of 12. So, 12 divided by 3 is 4. So, we have 4 average units when we hire the, fourth person, the third person. Roughly, one person is producing 4 plates an hour. Okay, so now, 4 plates for the third person, we have 4 plates an hour. Four plates an hour, right? And and then the, we hire the fourth person. We have a total product of twenty units, twenty plates an hour, right? Uh, so twenty divided by four is five. Okay, so we have an average product of five. So hiring the fourth worker means roughly each person is producing five plates an hour. So we say hiring the fourth person we have. Five plates. So the average we are having, the roughly per person we can produce per hour is rising, as we are seeing. Okay? And then what happens next? We have when we had the fifth worker, we had a total product of 30 units. 30 divided by 5, which is uh, we say total product divided by number of workers, 30 divided by 5 is 6. So now we can roughly each person is producing six units. So we plot that in our here and six units okay and then when we had the sixth worker we had 38 as the total product 38 divided by 6 which is the total number so let's um, see that so we see 38 um, divided by 6 how many times can 6 come into 38 well we know 6 goes into 36 six times so that will be 6 Remainder what? Remainder 3. Okay? Remainder 3. But 6 times 6 is 36. If we subtract the 36, 38 minus 36 is what? Um, 2. 6 into 2, we cannot, so we have to put a decimal point, right? 6, so we are putting the decimal point, we put this, we add 0. 6 in, into 20, that will be 3 times. Okay? Because 6 times 3, 18. So we say 3 times here. So let's do the same thing again. 3 now times 6 is 18. We subtract again. 20 minus 18 is 2. Similarly, we add 0. Okay? 6 into 20 again is 3. Remainder 2. So this is going on and on. So now we have 6.33 uh, 
6.333. So we can just put this as 6.3. Okay, assuming we can of course have a, a point decimal plates in an hour in a restaurant. Okay, um, this is just for us to calculate. So 6.3 plates we cannot produce per person in an hour. Now, when we hire the, so let's plot this here. So six, we, when we hire the sixth worker, we cannot produce 6.3.3, let's say here, point three, no, somewhere here. So 6.3 plates, okay? And then when we hire the seventh worker, total product is 43, right? 43. So we have 43 total product divided by 5. Sorry, divided by by 7. Let's do this quickly so we don't waste time. Um, 43 divided by 7 gives us 6.1428. We just um, summarize that to 6.14. Okay? 6.1 is the number. So it's a 6.1 if we put it to one decimal places as we did earlier. So now um, our average product is 6.1. Now average product, so when we have the seventh worker, we have a total of 6.1 instead of 6.3, so we say 6.1. So what is happening here? Let's draw the curve so we can see the behavior. So average product at first was rising, was rising, was rising, was rising. But the moment it crosses the marginal product curve, now it's falling. Okay? So this is now average product. This is the relationship you have to keep in mind. As, this is what I did here exactly. Okay? At first, both marginal product and average product are rising as we are, we are hiring more people. 